um, welcome back friends so in this session I am going to talk about data hazards so we have earlier seen about structural hazard which was 100% uh, connected with respect to availability of the hardware components but here this time the view is going to be slightly different and this will talk about the data which means availability of data let's take a scenario as usual only then you will understand the concept clearly so what is a data hazard it's very simple the data hazard will occur when the pipeline is stopped when the pipeline is halted because one stage is waiting for another stage to complete its work which means i cannot do my work because you have not done your work i need you to complete your work so i have to get the work done from my side it is as simple as that i am conducting an exam you guys have not completed the exam and you have not given me the paper back only when you give the paper back i can correct the paper that's it this is a hazard unless you make it available i cannot get the work done from my side let's take a very simple example i am going to have an interview attended tomorrow for example so for that i need to have a set of a dress which means a trouser and a shirt a matching trouser and the shirt the pair assuming or understanding wrongly that i washed both i collected all my dresses and i started folding but only when i started folding i found that the shirt or the trouser is missing so what will i do i'll immediately go back to my uh, almira i'll go back to my rack i'll start finding out where that uh, trouser is because i need the matching pant matching trouser is needed for me to proceed so i'll start searching for that until the time that i find the match until the time that i find the match the rest of the clothes which have which could have been actually completed with the folding uh, folding and the ironing process will be forced to wait i have not found until that time i need to wait if i have not got the pair i'll have to search for it i need to get it only then i can proceed so the time that i spend in waiting for doing something which also makes the next step to wait is called the data hazard do we have a solution for it do we have a scenario which can explain that clearly yes we do have i am going to take one technical example as usual so i am going i am going to take two instructions first one is in first instruction is add dollar s1 dollar t1 dollar t2 now the result of this will go to s1 as we all know now the next instruction is add immediate s1 s1 five so the result of the first instruction is needed in the result of in the second instruction for it to even proceed but what will happen let's see that very clearly now see this diagram now this is the way we need to represent the stages all blocks and then here you need to represent ALU appropriately like this and this is a very important point to remember you are not supposed to change the representations if you change the representation it is ideally wrong now what will happen the first instruction is add s1 t1 t2 when will the result be available with you after write back the result is available in the s1 register so how many stages you need to wait one two three so until the fourth stage for you you will get the data only here right so this is a hazard until such time you are waiting right uh, you you are getting the result very late which will actually make next set of instruction to wait so do we have a solution sir yes we do have a solution and that solution is called forwarding or bypassing what do you mean by that sir very simple you have got the result available at execution stage itself you are not getting the result here you are actually getting the result at execution stage so what can be done sir very simple add s1 t1 t2 the result will be available here and it will be written only here but we can take the result from here and forward that result right away into the next instructions execution stage so that it need not wait this process is called as bypassing or forwarding this is the technical solution that is available towards really avoiding the data hazard but there is one other point that you guys need to remember i am going to use load and r instruction type combination load word s1 32 of t0 add t1 s1 s2 now load word has to load the content into s1 register and in the next instruction i am getting s1 used so this is a hazard now what will happen I have got the result available only here so I will compute the location and then I will take the result out here I cannot send it in the backward direction you can send it only in the forward direction and that's why we call it forwarding so what will we need to do is we need to stall the process for some time one stage we need to stall that is called bubbling 
once i stall i'll get time so that i can push it forward now you can see that this pushing has happened here it should not go in the backward direction this is called as a bubble if you did not understand please re-listen to this whatever i have explained or i can explain you once more the result what is available here cannot be sent back in time there is no time machine concept it can be sent only in forward direction so for it to be sent in forward direction i need a bubble here which means i am stalling a stage here otherwise it will have to be sent to the backward direction else when you push a bubble when you send a bubble in that will save the head and this is very important combination load and r type instruction to be understood towards the data hazard i hope i made it clear we have dealt with two types of hazards till now the next type of hazard is called control hazard which is equally important as well i'll come back to you with more content on the control hazard in the next session thank you very much for following my channel i'll get back to you shortly once again thank you